Welcome back, everyone, to the Lobster Roll Series Week 8 Grand Finals. I remain your host, Dominic, or Shadow here, whichever you prefer. And when I said a second, I meant it. Also with Google Frog. Oh, got a bad in common catcher. Doesn't want to play against Randy. Well, bear in mind, this is... Rovers. Yeah, I mean, that's not unwise, but bear in mind, it is best of three. And whoever loses yeah. will get the first ban next time around and the pick. Five break intersection. Oh, wow. Got a ban in Frosty Co. Thought he liked jumps. I don't know. I mean, they've had... Honestly, I think Frosty Co. is one of the weaker maps. Not gonna lie. Like, having watched them in this tournament, it feels like when they play Frosty Cove, they are running into a lot of trouble. And now we get Baron as the pick. But yeah, Frosty Cove, like Steel Blue almost beat them on Frosty Cove. And it's just, okay. I don't know. I get, I get the impression they don't really like it. It is very slow at the start. It's very hard to raid. Yeah, it is. And Gorda loves raiding. Like, Gorda is a micro player extraordinaire. So, Baron, a very good light bot map. This seems like something that Gorda's going to really play into. Hasn't been in the pool for a while, but we can see any of five factories, I guess. Let's see. Jump, Amp, I guess, Cloaky, Shield, Spider? Yeah, with Spider having a decent Venom. Yep. This map not being too large. That's true. Going at full speed up the hills is a nice thing to do. And are we starting? Waiting on Goda. Waiting on nobody. Jump. Jump up both sides. Jump and Cloaky. No, go oh wow. Did not expect Goda to go for Cloaky. But here we are. And five early glaives going for that raid. Randy, on the other hand, going for the early construction. Randy going for macro. Goda going for micro. That makes sense. That waypoint. That looks like a cheese. Five flames yep. cheese from the start with no constructor. Yep. To the corner of the map. It's best of three. Gorda has a chance. If they lose this, they still have two more rounds to play with. And they are on the winner side of the bracket, so they actually have even more. Like, Gorda, Gorda can get away with doing this four times before they have to actually worry about losing the entire series. Or three times before they lose worry about losing the entire series. So yeah, I'd expect Gorda to be going for some sneaky plays. Oh, and I love this. The one glaive going out just to preserve the sense of timing. So that Randy goes, wait, where are the glaives? And sees the one glaive. like, oh, okay, well, there's the glaive scout. It's a bit late for a glaive. I think he's just trying to see if there's a good approach. It's a bit late, you're right. But I mean, at the same time, Gorda might be thinking, oh, maybe, or Randy might be thinking, oh, maybe Gorda's going for expansion. Puppy coming in, but there's a strict limit to how much damage one puppy can deal. Yeah, it's enough to kill so the glaive. it's okay to have his base relatively undefended. Yep. Well, at any oh, rate... Glaive pressure. Yeah, the glaive pressure has been spotted. It's forcing a Lotus, which is... nice. And we get through the 2.1. They have a good enough engage and spread. They might kill that Pyro, but they might just opt to avoid... No, they're, they're not going to bother. Do it. Why kill the Pyro when you can take the factory for free? Or at least kill the power that's currently being built. What's being built there? Uh, I think the factory's okay. No, the factory should be fine, but the pyro... Pyro dying is going to slow things down a little bit, just having set it on fire. Uh, it seems like it kind of failed, though. I wonder if that constable's okay. Ah, that's fine. Constable's okay. Taking another swing at it, though. No, 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 no. They're changing it up. They're changing it up. And getting that constructor, finally. Well, Pyro certainly slowed things down some. Gorda, however, falling a bit behind economically, but not that far behind, honestly. Their commander has been expanding this entire time. So while it has been a risky play, it hasn't been a total cheese. Four Glaives probably beat the Pyro. Well, or force it back. Yeah. No, oh, no, the Pyro's done. Pyro's done. Two Glaives die, though. Yep. And the... Last glaive, finding a free metal extractor. It, I think it'll die in the process. No, it won't die. Just get hurt. No, just out of range. Nicely done. Not quite an explosion range. 
So free metal extractor, Randy's economy now weaker than Gorda's. Oh, constable going down. Okay, but Pyro they built way too quickly for the Glaive to go. Oh no, Glaive's not even trying. Looks like Gorda just wants a bit of vision. Oh, they can still get rid of the Pyro. No! Don't Another go for a bunch of Glaives coming in. Yeah, I think that's going to be it. I mean, the Pyro won't go down in the factory pyros, again. Though. Yeah, those two Pyros are going to be enough. Two Pyros won't lose to it, but they won't do much good. Well, they'll force it back. The Glaives want to go around. Oh, no. Glaives want kills. Yep. But, I mean, they've really cracked Randy open. Golda now has to worry about having enough metal, or having enough build power to use the metal. They're running into that... They're running into a surprising problem. They've really made this work. Like, early raid into strong expansion behind it. This is exactly what you were talking about that Pudis could have been doing on CCR. We're seeing Golda yes. do exactly there. No, Randy's not making it easy. The Pyro's still roaming around the map. And, like one and a single pyro, if it doesn't want to be caught, can be tricky. Yep. For glaives to deal with. Yeah, honestly, a single pyro because of that could just go around the map if it's tricky enough and end up forcing a couple engagements, putting Gord into a bit of a checkmate situation. Like they're ahead yeah. economically, it's but good mm. when, it's all good when you're trying to sneak around a pyro's base and destroy its stuff. But when you actually have to defend against a pyro that wants to get in there, you need to have a few glaives in reserves just to be happy. Exactly. Possibly even get Reavers. But admittedly, Gota's commander deciding, yeah, well, I'm just going to go for the base. You're going for my base, I'm going for your base? I don't know, though. Gota's commander is way less well-supported. At the same time, way less threatened. Yeah, Gota's commander can walk in for free, whereas there will be reclaim here. Yeah, well, Gordon's commander should be able to... Oh, the factory's dead. Ooh, Blaze coming in the top could get these pyros out of position. They are working on it. Jump away. One pyro... Oh, two pyros down. Three pyros, potentially. The Lotus is, though, was causing that not to be an easy thing to do, but three pyros are down, but the Glaze are all down in response. Randy's commander three essentially alone with yeah, a bunch of Lotuses. Deciding to... Oh, no, here's another pyro coming in. Oh, no, this sucks. I mean, Gordon should be able to get rid of the factory before they lose their own, but... This factory right in range of a couple lotuses. It's only gonna last so long. And the... now, Godet's oh. naked expansion behind Glaives is sort of falling over. Yeah. The pyro's taking out. Well, it looks like they got a caretaker. Things. No, I think Godet's going for a base trade. Like, they're literally just gonna reclaim that jump off factory and rebuild one of their own. Yeah. Yep. Swap sides. Start over. I don't think Randy's prepared big, to do the that. The big battle being in the top left was important for getting the reclaim, and there's a constable. Sorry, a conjurer over there. Yeah. Building up. But there's no there's no constable anywhere. There's no and constables anywhere. Randy. No, no constables. Randy has a free pyro. That's true. Roman around the map. Oh, has some glaives, but they are in locked in. Yep, and Gorda as well. Randy has to at some point. Oh no, he's building his factory now. He's saying, we can deal with these glaives and these conjurers doing their picket thing. We can deal with them later. We've got to get that factory up. Yeah, but Gordy is farther ahead. They already have. Sorry for shield bot. Gordy deciding to spend the time he's gained to get a bit of energy. Well, four glaives Maybe could see. get rid of this commander, I think. No, it'd be really risky. Four, no. Four couldn't. Well, anyway, the conjurer has snuck out. Glaives. The pyro is dead. The one free oh. pyro has gone down to a lotus. Took out a metal extractor. Yeah. Probably, possibly worth it. Well, Gorda... Has Gorda scouted the shieldbot factory. Uh, I don't know. No, he hasn't. It's... No, I checked. It's, ah. it's been just out of range. The conjurers haven't seen it. And the conjurer just barely getting out, but not out enough. Randy should be able to find it. That conjurer needs to move. Uh, it's dead. It's not dead! Nope. Could scout out the factory. It... Got a also putting a shield bot factory. Yeah. Going to shields. But with less put into it. Actually, there's a second conjurer too. We were focused so much on the one that just barely uh, survived. Conjurer. Second conjurer over to the eastern side of the map is completely uncontested. Yeah, doing some good raiding. 
Uh, the first Conjurer has been taken out. So Randy has fully taken over Golda's base. But after Golda took over Randy's base, Golda just being much more focused on getting the economy behind it. Randy more focused on getting the Shield Black Factory up, and they do have that Convict up immediately. So we've got 1.5k Reclaim at the top right. Which is or top left, about 60% I mean, yeah. of the Reclaim that exists on the whole map. Yeah, that's going that's quite well. a bit. Oh, Gorda's got a nice economy running there. Yeah. Gorda did, however, take all the Reclaim in the southeast. That that's the one thing. Contra. Yeah, but they did, they, in the southeast, they had it, so it, that is one thing to bear in mind. Like, they took care of the factory Gorda's already. Some just Thug. Thug makes sense if you're dealing with Contras. Yeah, not so much against Bandits, though. And... That picket has spotted these thugs now. Okay, well, that's good to know for Golda that they know exactly what's going on. That's one thing, like, Randy has to now push through these defenses to get out of their, the base they've just taken over without going to the That's not hell. hard with three thugs, though. That's true, that's, what that's the true. thugs must be for. Yeah, getting outlaw, possibly going into Thug Law Venom, or Thug Law Felon. On this map, it's going to be a pretty small ball, but it might work. And Gorda again, going for five raiders, swarmed in a line, going up to the other side of the map. Yep, different raider, but same kind of thing. Uh, well... Yeah, Prudus is pointing out that Conjurer... Oh, yeah, Area Cloak. Area Cloak exists. I don't know how that would work with Sm Snitch, though, because Outlaw does counter that. Yeah. And the range is such that the Conjurer is probably dying the first time it gets used. But that too, could yeah. be the decider. Yeah, if it gets rid of the Thug Ball. Just using it at the opportune time. Well. So, Randy's got the expansion. Sorry, Randy's got the Reclaim. They've... The top of the screen swap sides. Entirely. Gorda has the expansion, or at least trying to. The bandits may not be enough to defend against the expansion, it. With Randy using up the reclaim, most of it's gone. Yep. It's making some more reclaim with the top left stuff. And Randy seems to be in a good position going right into a raiding thug ball. Does have an army advantage very slightly, 400 metal. So. It's just a bunch of health and shield that normal raiders can't deal with, so you can walk slowly through your opponent's expansion. Mm -hmm. Got a countering that with some shield, with some rogues. I don't think we're going to see Snitch, though. I mean, the Conjurer is also still alive, but I don't think... I don't know if Gorda is going to think, oh, I should go for the Snitch. It'd be nice if they did, but I, I'd be surprised. Honestly, it seems like they're just going for straight army. Which, admittedly, the rogues are a good choice in this context. Oh, what's got his commander doing? I think it's trying to get itself killed in a really unproductive manner. Uh, I think it might be okay. May I don't know. Ten, I. Uh, wants to force it. There's Thug Law Ball right behind it. It's pretty pinned. And Randy Commander could jump in. And it just upgraded as well. Had a jump up. He jumped to get here. Yeah, but they got jumped yeah. sooner. But his commander can just walk away, I think. He's got jump now. He can jump up to the top of the cliff. Does seem to be the tr the play. There it is. Randy no longer blue. Most yep. commander. Okay. Well, now go to maybe they want to get some reclaim. Where are you going? Where the heck is going? Like they did they just have this order that was from uh, before. He's got his. Com he's selecting his commander and sending it with the bandits. Ah, uh, that makes sense. It's like you're getting yourself killed there, or you're going to. A map like this, if you lose your commander, you're done. And Gold is playing it really risky. I don't know why they're going so far forward. At least as got it is. I think Randy would actually be okay. What's he doing? He's got commanders going in still. I mean, it's. He really. I don't know. He's really using it. It's uh, riot power. That's and not a bad idea. But now the rogues it. are going to go down as well. Oh, never mind. The commander coming to save the day. Happens to be yeah, just close enough to save the day. Out that hill was quite good for the rogues, but they lost a bit. Yeah, that old thug uh, ball. Meanwhile, Randy's been... Well, he's been doing that. He's been moving his ball of thugs with an outlaw. Yeah, thug -law ball over to the Always south side of the, the top map. right, the bottom left, and then in. Yeah, well, Gorda's commander switching over to machine gun. 
Not a bad choice, really. I mean, I'll scare the shield, tough to bandits. doesn't have the health to deal with it. He gets slowed very quickly. That's true. Rogues can take some damage off. Uh, off the hit. Range is really nice dodging there, but the bandits able to come in there, start throwing things off a little bit. Uh, they get very slow, though. They do, but at the very least, it's applying extra pressure. Think, I don't think Randy wins off this. I don't think that this kills his base. But just the map control from making Gode focus so many rogues in his base is pretty amazing. Yep. Yeah, Gold's commander getting in there, but yeah, the northeast is done. Southwest is done. Rain is taking that. But it took so long. Got his forces focusing just on the bottom. Well, I mean, Gold is going to try to push back and take what they can, but. All the reclaim from Rainier's Commander being the center. The fact that Rainier's Commander is still alive, it really turned this around. That extra reclaim, meaning that they can just turn that into more more stuff, which now has to be dealt with by the Commander alone, because other than that, there isn't a whole lot of anti-raider forces that exist for Golda. Oh, got to jump his Commander in. Oh, they have commander to. Commander in Rogues is a composition. It is, especially when the Commander has the machine gun. Yeah, it's... It's an okay composition. Yeah, Randy's got to be careful, though. I expect to see jump. Yeah. Oh, never mind. No, we're not going to see jump. The bandits have come in. They've saved the day. I presume you're going to jump backwards. No, well, Gordon's got to jump really backwards. There's no, no choice. Health. He's got auto repair, which has reduced his health, but gives him the ability to use it. That's true. Whereas, oh, Randy's gone for level three. Randy's gone for extra HP, but yeah, not much else. Yeah, Randy just wants the armor, which is good uh, in a. It's it's done. Fight. It's done. Gold is down. That's game. I'm expecting to see the towel throw any second now. Losing uh, that commander. Yeah, the armies are equal apart from the commanders, Bandit and Rogue. Yeah, but the positioning is I way better for Randy. Yeah. And that that'll be it. Oh. He's going in for the melee the commander with rogues. Of course, if you melee a unit with rogue, then the missiles actually hit. But did not get the commander. And didn't get any army left either, so that is... That is that... Yes, you need to use your repeat button. Why does no one use your repeat button? It's nail button Well, it didn't exist in TA. Well, okay, yeah, but that was 15 years ago. 15? Sorry, 20 years ago. 23 years ago. 23. 24 years ago, actually. Uh, it was 15 years ago before last uh, time it was like even remotely relevant from a spring perspective. Ah. Uh, well, that was interesting. Yep. Shield bot mirror with a bit of stuff at the start. Yep. That was that was a thing. I mean, that was a actually a pretty interesting Baron game for a map that oftentimes ends with some rather odd play. No, it was, that was actually pretty cool. Yeah. Not fighting the base trade in the bottom right and just letting it happen. But more importantly, we didn't get the old trench warfare stuff that happens in Baron all the time. Which is a nice change of pace. Or it used to happen all the time. Yeah, three different land factories instead of the two we were expecting. 201, I guess. Yeah. Could have seen four. We could have. Actually, I found it interesting. I think Shieldbot is a good... Shieldbot's a good post-trade switch. I agree. They're they're solid. They've got they can easily rebuild without being too heavily damaged. You can beat turrets with it. That too. Yeah. And in a post trade, there's probably going to be some turrets. There absolutely were lying around in the outlying expansions. Yeah, I gotta say though, I think I'm really starting to misjudge a lot of these maps. Like I used to be saying, oh yeah, the map's going to do this or that or the other thing, and it's like, no, they're clearly not. It's it, it, the players have developed like the meta has developed these maps very differently. Can Gode choose Baron? Yes, they can. They did yes, not win on Baron. Lost. It's just if we get to game three, Randy cannot choose Baron. Yeah. Oh, comment. Not that it matters. The map that Gode banned last time. Yep, we were on CCR. Start. Okay, well. So it goes, I guess. So with that, we are going to be moving on to game two on CCR, which I'm I'm interested in seeing how that plays out. Honestly, I think it'll be 
It'll be fun. It'll be good. He's. I've. I think Randy wants to at some point be given a, you know, a nice macro rover game. I can God see that. A, he yeah. may allow that, or he may try and short circuit that with some kind of cheese. I mean, it is Gordo. They are. If they if there's a cheese that can be pulled off, they could pull it off. Looks like he's allowing it. Scorcher and two darts. Yeah. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, I feel like a lot of the maps, like Baron in particular, we've seen we've seen a lot of development in the meta that is not playing out the way it used to play when Baron was in the pool a few years ago. Yeah. Which I nice which I like. People can do non raider things. Okay, this maybe not a cheese, maybe this is just Scotty, but five scorchers. Uh, Putting it all into his engineer commander yeah. expanding. Like I said, they have a grand finals reset. They will be able to make it if it if they lose this match. They're not out of the tournament. It is not the worst opening, as in you know, lots of raider pressure. Expand behind with commander. Oof. Presumably get a mason out afterwards. If it works, yeah, it'll be a little bit tricky though because it looks like the pressure is mutual. Randy is certainly seeing some of it coming. I mean, Radar... Actually, Radar Shadow is hiding a bit. But still, two darts aren't the scariest thing in the world to have to deal with. And I think with a commander... That's an Econ commander, so... Yeah, Engineer Shashi. So that four Scorcher should be able to kill it. Depends on the engagement, I think. I mean, minimum, like, if they engage really actually well. the one doing the oh, yeah. stuff here. I know. Well, they got Getting rid of, one max. Yeah, they got rid of one, but lost two Scorchers in the process. Not, a, not an even trade. quite damaged Scorchers. They were, but it still was not an even trade. However, it has slowed down Golda's raiding attempts if they wanted to push forward with Scorchers. Dart is slowing down a Metal Extractor. Yeah, as we mentioned last week, slowing a Metal Extractor is half as good as killing it. Or at least for the 2.3 types. So there's oh, a no, level no, general, four Dart already. Yep. That that dart is already level four. That is that means nothing, just that the dart did a good job. It gets yeah, a medal. You need to be able to has to be level twenty to get drones, doesn't it? I'm sorry, what? Uh, there's a level up mod where the units get oh, ridiculous. Oh yeah, I haven't I haven't and I haven't tried trees when they level up. Yeah, okay. I I was trying to think like, wait, what? Is there is there a thing in Zero K like you took out morph but you added this one Easter egg thing in case a unit gets twenty levels worth of making cost? Which, like, no one would ever see, except, like, one in a thousand games. But, no, it's just the hey, mod. Fleas would do it half the time. You're not wrong. They would, actually. Okay, there. Resetting a bit. This time, they're building constructors. And getting a few turrets to you know, keep their metal extractors alive. Well, they're building a couple, but now both Randy and Goat are back to mass scorchers. And that will be not doing all that much for killing Randy's base, but man, Randy has not been able to expand. Uh, unlike what we saw in the yeah, losers' final. Yeah, back to do that. But yeah, what we saw in the losers' finals so was very different. Gade is, yeah, Gade is going off with his three masons working. Ooh, that commander. And he's got a good spread of defensive scorches. Randy has pure defensive scorches. But they also aren't worried. And there's no. Uh, I might lose a mason. Ooh, that, yeah, that's huge. Lose a mason. Yeah. That is huge. I don't think Randy's in. It. Randy has no other masons. That was it. Gorda is going to be winning the economy game from here on out. Taking out a couple more metal stretches because why not? That is brilliantly done. Okay, Gorda has us in the bag. This is their game to lose now. They've taken such a huge advantage off yeah, of that raid. A nice chunk of the map expanded on. Yep. You just look where the, where the structures are. I mean, it's a naked expansion, so that's that is something to be want, to be mindful of. But Gorda is making sure to ex to like just be having radar up, watching what's going on. Got solid radar coverage, so they're not to worry about. I think Randy decided anything. he has to go into Scorchers to punish the potentially naked expansion. Oh, well, they already had the Scorchers not as undefended. Yeah, it isn't. It's it's all it's mobile defense. Gorda's keeping a lot of Scorchers at home leaving only small raider groups to actually deal some damage, but otherwise focused entirely on defensive scorchers. 
Oh, man. Two groups of four over in the main... Well, one approaching the main base, another one already in there. Randy, on the other hand, on the revenge shot, trying to find whatever they can, but really f having trouble with much. Ah, uh, trying to do his sneaky mason expand for the mason to take him out. Oh, yeah, right over the north side here. Nicely done, Korda. Catching that out. Randy is getting something with this, but he's leaving Reclaim there. Uh, and... Oof, well, one mason God down. Is responding with turrets. Yeah, and one mason has gone down, but the other mason's still up. So Gorda remains uh, ahead. Command might be in trouble. Yep. Okay, it's okay. It's fine. It's defended by solar collectors. They're all around it. They're wrapping around it like a blanket. Very, very tight blanket. Yeah, that is weird. The one in the north, though, was attacked by three Scorchers, but it bended them off. Like I said, you need minimum four. That doesn't look like Randy really, or Gorda really went for it. Just trying to keep Randy contained in their base. That's their real goal here. And once Gorda manages to get a solid defense on their, on what they've built so far, they can expand behind it. They can continue to assault. They can do both at the same time, really. Catching out Scorchers coming in, stopping, stopping the rays from being reinforced. Scorcher, ooh. Oh God, they can afford to make a bunch of Lotus. They can. Yeah, this 19 to 13. Actually, right now it's close to 25. And with the Masons coming back and all the reclaim up, that's that's going to very easily turn around. One Mason, another Mason's going to go down, though. So Randy's not getting nothing. They're just not getting anything that quickly. Maybe not enough. Yeah. Five times the reclaim on south. So with that, Gordo should be able to turn all that reclaim into basically another dozen Scorches or so. And from there, it'll be... Really tricky for Randy to come back from this. Certainly trying with mass scorches and all, but again, forced to go on defense, and that just gives Golda all the room in the world to expand. Well, he doesn't feel forced to go on defense. He's going on attack anyway. Uh, sending a couple down to attack. But the majority of them uh, are held yeah, back. Yeah, he's bringing stuff back. Yeah. Spotting all those scorches on the radar. Yeah, I mean, just... Yeah, the commander's just in range to see them. Going, hey, wait a sec. Maybe maybe that's a problem. So, yeah, maybe that is. You got Scorchers on literally all sides. Like, small quarters, I suppose, that Randy Scorchers have been able to go through, but even then, they get through it, and then they die. They don't survive the battle once they get in. And that's it. Randy throws in the towel. We're going to move yep. on to game three. Randy sees all the Scorchers. Another short CCR game. Uh, not that short. This was a much more standard one. Really? Okay, I'm used to CCR lasting 40 minutes. Uh, you get the early radiant advantage, and this seems to be the time yep. of early radiant advantages. People are not building as much Lotus as they might want to to be consistent. Yeah, that's something which... I think a lot of people realize, you know, I can get away with if I raid well or defend raid well, I don't need lotuses, and that's, you know, several hundred metal that's, no, like, a hundred metal per pop that I don't need to worry about, which is interesting thinking, but it does mean that you have to be able to win the raider phase, otherwise you're not going to be able to do anything. But anyway, game three, and for reference, this is Randy's pick. They cannot pick Baron. So let's pull yes. Baron out of there because they get the pick, and it's going to be Fire Break, Comet Catcher. Oh, God, he's banned Baron. Oh, God, he's banned Baron. Okay, well, I can just pop that up anyway. And. Fallendale. Oh, it's Fallendale. It's not Fallendale, that's Fallendale. Bah. Okay. So Frosty Gove Intersection, Shimmer Shore are the ones available, and Randy wants Frosty. Okay. So we are on Frosty Cove, and I forgot to show that off. We are on Frosty Cove. But yeah, Baron was a bit of a waste. That that didn't have to be banned. That that was something Randy could not pick. I see. Yeah, so the rule is still you can't pick what you want on. That's right. The difference is however, you have a pick of three. Yeah, however the loser picks. So that makes more sense. Yeah. 
Uh, Randy, what's Randy looking for? He's looking for cloak bots. Bit unusual because they like to spread out and attack from all sides with their cheap radar, mm -hmm. forcing responses that might be efficient, but will certainly have to be everywhere at once. Now against yeah, spiders, cloak though. against jump is where I cloak against oh, and spiders for God's sake. Interesting. If you're not call. spiders for jump, you really have to worry about this big jump up on the right. Yeah, I'm. Kind of curious what Randy's going to do for defending that. Cloak is certainly fine. Cheap constructor. Glaives for a bit of defense. True. But there is... I mean, also against spiders, it's not a big deal. This lake is no... The lakes are no longer an issue. You don't have to worry about someone jumping over them. It's just defending the plateau and the area below it. That's where it becomes a little bit of a concern, but... Put a lotus on the hill and it's fine. Please won't be able to do much. But yeah, this is going to be potentially it. Gorda, if they win this, will win the tournament. Randy, if they win this, will get a reset to the grand finals. Which means they will be able to potentially win the entire tournament. But they have to win another best of three. A lot of fleas coming in. Uh, Gordon wants to make sure they Lots know what... Lots but that to. doesn't mean all that much. No, but there's still five on the map. Which is I mean, kind of moderate, I guess. You know, send them to scout everywhere. Just get information. Information's good. Although, Glaive is a very good counter to flee. Yeah, but flees got what they want. They've seen what they need to see. They've just setting up where it'll be convenient later on. And we already have... Do we have swapping to Venom? Nope, just Weavers. Still more fleas. Is that a Newton? Well, he's scouted bots, so there's only two ramps he has to block off to be completely happy. Although he That's hasn't true. blocked it off yet. No. Those two weavers could easily make a Lotus. Ah, yeah, he's got seen it on radar. Yeah, okay, a Lotus. Is. So, yeah, very unraidable this map. You have to go up this ramp and they can see you come up the ramp and then just put a turret in the way. I'm expecting we're going to see a quick switch into Ronin Knight. Or possibly Ronin... Or maybe not Ronin Knight, maybe Reaver Knight Sling. I'm trying to think, because Reaver... I don't know, Ronin's more strong counter against, against spiders. I would expect but... a bunch of expansion first. Yeah, me too. You can't do that off of nothing. So not that quick of a switch. But I do expect that to be where Randy goes if they stay cloaky. Got expanding slightly better. Yeah, and again, we're seeing that north south. But he's putting out lotuses. Whereas Randy is trusting in. In glaives, yeah. Alright, I keep forgetting I gotta quit zero k every once in a while because of memory leaks. Yeah, glaives. These conjurers could die. One glaive doesn't kill that many fleas. No, it's. I think four is pretty much the max you can reliably have. Please coming in. Alright, there we go. It could get some damage. It's a glaive being produced. So they won't kill that much. No. I don't know. It's getting a lot in the back. God sakes, it's okay. Well, you got Meanwhile, it. glaives coming in the top of the map, killing off a lotus. Yeah, a bunch of guys. Oh, but there's a venom there to stop them. Yeah, one venom should be enough. I, mean, I think all four glaives will be able to pull it off, but not with just the two. <sighs> Darn it. And then that'll be enough. And there's a Lotus there anyway. But Randy, oh no, got a hit his Weaver down the cliff, so he just lost a Lotus and a, and a Extractor. Yeah, it looks like also Randy able to get that expansion going at the same time, but now a dozen uh, fleas over onto the south side of the map. Coming in. Okay, it's ten, not not quite a dozen. So there's no ten. Yeah, Randy needs there's no word for 10 in English, but that's 10. I don't know. Randy needs a bit of radar. Slightly too much constructor spam. Little it's bit. It's certainly possible to not have, lose your constructors like that, but it takes a few glaives, escorting everything. Yeah, and th well, three glaives should be able to stop the fleas, but the fleas don't care. They don't looking to fight the glaives, they're looking to kill conjurers. And that's yeah, exactly what they're doing. Getting a lot of efficiency with these glaives. See, two of them are level four already. 
Yep. Three of them. I gotta say, I gotta also point out, one thing that's been super efficient about the way Glood has been using this, I think they've been fight moving. At the very least, they've been staying just out of range of the explosion. That's the hardest thing to remember to do when you're using fleas. If you can do that, you save... Like, these fleas would all be dead if they weren't being micro to be just outside of the, the metal extractor explosion range. They're that frail. That's worth pointing out. Yeah, Raddy has lost one, two, three, four constructors, I think, so far. Might lose yep. the commander. Oh, no, the commander's not yeah, going to go down. No, not no that easily. Nearby. Oh, wait, no, the glazers are all stunned okay. out. Yeah, the commander's done. There's nothing saving them. Well, that's as many venoms as there are glaives. Oh, yeah, and also so, it's yeah. cost, yeah. And that's it. Gorda takes the tournament. Randy throws in the towel. And that is that. Several quick games. That yeah, good around. flea and then venom usage. Amazing flea usage, and yeah, just taking advantage of the fact that Bems really have a lot of firepower these days. Sixty DPS is nothing to scoff well, at when they get that many of them. Yeah, well, it means four hundred twenty DPS. That is by far the biggest army that existed on the map. Well, five minutes into the game, that's Randy what happens. just trying to build constructors and go expansion. And it worked not out. Getting too many raiders. Yeah, he's not yeah. not a raider game yet, right? Exactly. Yeah. So with that, I think we are going to be done. So thank you all for watching. And oh, sorry, that's the last thing I have to thank. Sorry. Congratulations to Golda for winning the tournament. Congratulations to Randy for getting second place, and to Pudis, a player who I have not seen in this tournament thus far, or if they have, they haven't done. And placed it all, getting third. I don't know where. And Diamond Throne getting fourth. So thank you to all of you for playing. Thank you to Crow for hosting the tournament. Thank you, Google Frog, for co-casting with me. And thank you all for watching. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you, good night. <laughs>